Well, welcome to Mower Mike's Garage. Today, no, no fancy entrance. As you see, my uh, fancy jack is preoccupied. What we're going to talk about today is how to remove a hydrostatic gear transmission out of your zero turn lawnmower, just like this guy here. Now, almost all of your hydrostatic gear transmissions are made by a company called Hydro Gear, and they have all the same attached points across all brands of lawnmowers. So, this should apply. Diddy John Deere, Craftsman, whatever you got out there, Husqvarna, because they all use the same transmission. Now, why would you want to pull your uh, transmission out? Lots of reasons. You may want to swap it out. You may want to do a uh, oil change, which I'll have a couple videos down in the description below on how to change the oil on both sealed and unsealed units. Uh, all sorts of reasons. So, now this is not a very hard job, but it does take some strength because these are fairly heavy. So I'm going to walk you through step by step slowly how to do it each step so you can get your hydro gear transmission out of your lawnmower safely. And this will be my removal video. I'll post an install video here, here, and then down below in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first step is we have to release the tension from the drive belt that is on top of the hydrostatic gear transmission. Because on top, here right here, you can see you got the fan, that's your hydro pump that runs the hydrostatic gear transmission. We have to get that belt off the top of it. Now, on this John Deere, to get access to the belt, you just look underneath your skirt. It's real easy, right here. On your other tread, uh, other lawnmowers, you might have to pull up a, like the deck plate, like right here. But on these John Deeres, it's right here. So let's go ahead and zoom in and uh, take a closer look. It is awesome how easy access these suckers are. All right, so zooming down here, what you'll see right there is the tensioner arm, and there's a big square hole next to it. Now, that is meant for the end of a half-inch extension, and that way we can pull that to us, and it'll provide some slack, and we can unhook the belt from underneath one of these wheels. So, Bob, go ahead and shove her in the hole there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see, Bob is a very, very experienced mechanic. We are lucky to have him all the way from Alabama. All right, all right, so you see that right there? Gives you a little bit of looseness and just unhook it from one of these guys. Well, that's not a good idea, but we'll go underneath the, underneath here, you'll see right there is the belt. So you can just unhook it. Now this is a two man or two lady job. Sorry about all the wiggle waggle. All right, give me some, there it is. And just, all right, pull her back. All right, so now the drive belt is loose. Okay. If you want to go against the grain and do what I call Mara Mike's redneck method, go ahead and pop the, the floor panel up if you have a zero turn. And you will notice here that spring, which holds the tensioner belt, the drive belt, is right here. And if you get yourself a good firm grip, you can just take that spring off right there. And what that's going to do, that's going to go ahead and loosen tension on that belt. Just, but this is not the method in the uh, owner's manual, but it does work pretty good. If you have one of these John Deere's, it should slide off fairly easily. Just, uh, just be careful. I don't want to be responsible for you missing any digits. So let's get to the fun part. So what we need to do, we need to jack up the lawnmower, not jack off the lawnmower like I did in a previous video that got really weird. We're going to jack up this lawnmower to get it elevated in order to pull that wheel off, we'll do it straight NASCAR style. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So, in order to first jack up the lawnmower, we need to secure the lawnmower. Because remember, this is a zero turn lawnmower. At the front end of this lawnmower are zero turn wheels that zero, that zero turn, and they will wiggle and wobble. But when you jack up the lawnmower, it can move very easily on you and it can fall on top of you, which it did in my uh, NASCAR video. It did not go very well. So what we need here is wheel chocks. Wheel chocks prevent the wheel from moving. Some of the younger generation have never heard of what wheel chocks are, but they're a very important tool in the shop. So get yourself some wheel chocks or a two by four or something. So what I'm going to do is put wheel chocks on the opposite wheel. So down here, do not put wheel chocks on the wheel you're gonna, you're gonna take off because you know, that just wouldn't work. All right, so then we come around and I got my Summit Racing uh, jack here. Aluminum, this thing's awesome. Just find yourself a good part of the frame. You do not want to jack up on top of the hydro gear transmission that you're gonna be removing. So I like just hitting the back corner of this frame. Don't need it up a whole lot. 
And then, the exciting part, we're gonna pull, whoa, 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 hang on, just a second. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do a wardrobe change. I saw myself with the camera, and well, that glare I was getting a little, a little intense for my viewers. I didn't want to scare anybody. So what we're gonna do, I got a new tool here. You know, I'm way pro air tools, pneumatic all the way, boy, but we'll look what I got here. I got the new DeWalt XR2000. It's got 350 foot-pounds of torque. This is a bad dude. And what's cool is the battery packs, the same ones that go on your regular DeWalt drills, 20 volt lithium, and uh, let's see how she works. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her full reverse. <laughs> Man, she has got some speed to her, and if you'll notice, this sucker is quite a Whoa. And what's crazy is that this thing is made in the United States, which you can't find many things in the hardware store made in the United States anymore. I'll go ahead and put a link down below. I got it on Amazon for a couple hundred dollars. Pretty sweet deal. So let's go ahead and take your wheel off here like so and voila. Now we have full access to the zero turn transmission. Now I've taken these off before, but I'm no expert. So I'm going to do a little studying first before I show you guys the best way to take this sucker off. All right, before we start doing the fun manly stuff and unbolting stuff, we need to get all the linkages unhooked from this uh, transmission here. Now, first thing to start with, we're just going to work our way down. Start with the belt. Just unhook the belt. Your zero turn transmission is going to have a fan up here. This one actually has a broken fan, which we will address in a minute. But just go ahead and push that off. And then you've got your throttle linkage right here. And you'll see that one's just on there with a little clippy. So just go ahead and take that off with a screwdriver. <laughs> Try not to lose your clip. Mine just shot across the shop. And then down here, you'll see your brake is held on with a little clip to hook to that, uh, that springer there. So just go ahead and try not to lose your clip here. There we go. And see that pop right off. So now we've got those three linkages off. And now I've got to figure out how to get the neutral linkage off. So hang with me. All right, kids. Well, I was actually pleasantly surprised at how easy this neutral lever is to take off on these John Deere. So we have got a great shot for you coming from the rear end of the tractor looking forward. And this is your neutral lever. So right now it's pulled back in neutral. Now in order to remove it, all you do is you pop it up and then just pull it out. Pull it through the little thing right there. And so you've got it loose. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you right there up front how it just slides on out of its home. All right, so now with it loose right there, you can see that neutral lever. All you do is you twist it up, pull it up and bam. Look at that, easiest thing ever in a lawnmower. All right, so I'm gonna poke around this thing, make sure we got all the linkages off. Now, just remember on this one, we took that pin out, just push it out through there. There, so that's off. Your link, your neutral's off. The little spring, that's your spring for your brake cable. It's off. Belt's off. So I think we're good. Now, stay with me and let's do the fun stuff. All right, so now, we finally get to the fun part of actually unbolting this hydro gear transmission from the old John Deere. Now, the way I like to do it, I like to work from the bolts from the outside in. That way you don't put any extra pressure on the, the outliers, as we will say. Now, I'm going to start with this bolt here. What they are, they're half-inch bolts uh, with lock nuts on it. Now, the most important part of this whole situation is how am I going to entertain you with power tools instead of watching me wrench on this thing? So I've been down here for 30 minutes. I try to figure out what we're going to use. We got the DeWalt little impact wrench, brushless, 20 volt, atomic. This thing is an awesome tool. And I'm really curious if she has enough balls, well, I guess that would be a he, <laughs> to actually undo it. So what's really cool about this, just geeking out over tools, you could pop in a, you know, three eighths inch uh, socket and just slides right in there like so. And we're going to go ahead and just rip on it, baby. Now it took me a lot of extensions to figure out what exact size. So let's see if she's got the juice. <laughs> Dude, that is a sweet, sweet tool. I'll put a link below to this guy, but uh, I use mine all the time. All right, so we got that guy out. And now it's not really out. You want to go ahead and lift it through. This one, actually, we got pretty lucky. All right, so we got that one. And now we're going to move to the front or the back. All right, so now we're, we are on the back side, and we're gonna go ahead and get this one too. Now this is also a half inch, and I'm gonna use a little DeWalt on this guy. 
Now the top of this bolt, you actually have to access it through the engine bay. So what I've got, I've got a very long extension on a half inch socket up above that I can grab onto. Let's see your wrist. <laughs> Golly, that thing's got some juice. I know I'm very impressed. And then I can just lift it up with that extension. Let's see if she'll slide on out. All right, so we got those two. All right, so now we're underneath for these bottom two bolts. And these are, uh, these are big boys. These are five eighths. Now I do not think the mini DeWalt's gonna have the horsepower to get these guys off, but hey, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. She's done pretty good up to now. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, Charlie. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> well, she did not have the horsepower, but we are in luck because I have got her big brother. <laughs> what we've got here, we got the DeWalt XR 20 volt max. We're gonna throw this thing in four wheel drive, full reverse. We're gonna see what happens. Now, we're, now we went from about 150 foot pounds to about 300. Whoa, whoa. I can see, that ain't no thing for the big boy. All right, so now we're gonna do the other bolt. Now I have traded out the uh, goofy extension I had just for an impact socket. You always wanna use impact sockets for using impact wrenches because uh, they can blow up and screw up your face. Gosh dang it, we're on TV. All right, well, as you can see, I am struggling. Come on, there she goes. All right, so we got these two out and they just slide out, hang on to them. It shouldn't drop straight down yet. That's gonna happen next. You can see this one here is a little more stuck. Go ahead and mess around with that one. There she goes. What's nice is that these all slide out because you don't have really any tension on them until we get to the next two bolts, which are the fun ones, so stay tuned. All right, now things get a little hairy because this whole thing is only hanging on by these two bolts right here. So what I've done, I've taken the wheel I took off and shoved it underneath there to give it something to lay on when it drops down because you don't want this thing just dropping down in the cement or your hand or your dog or your cat, or kid, whatever. So we're going to see how this works out for me. I have no idea. Well, I've dropped a few before, but <clears throat> never on TV. All right, so we got the little guy here. You see, she just gets her done, as usual. She loves eating up these half-inch bolts. All right, so this next one should be the last, the last bolt. <laughs> so we'll, we're gonna see what happens. I hope to God this works out. Well, there we go. Keep your hand kind of clear. There she goes. There she goes. Dropping it. Look at that, look at that. All right, so you see it's holding on by these two bolts. Just pull them out through the top. There it is. And that sucker is free, baby. <laughs> that actually worked out better than planned. <laughs> there we go. One hydro gear transmission yanked out of her. And that's how you do it, kids. It's really not that hard, but you do have to be careful. And you really don't want that falling on you. So just be extra careful. Now, if you want to know anything else about hydro gear, hydrostatic transmissions on zero turns, check out the links below. I'll have an install video. I'll have a couple of uh, gear change oil, change things. And then also I've got a hydro gear, hydrostatic gear transmission playlist with everything you could ever want about hydrostatic gear transmissions. So uh, I'm gonna get busy putting together the install video for you kids, which I'll have a link here. So hope that helped. Uh, subscribe for more goofy fun videos. That, more mics out.